What's up everyone, Kawaii Kui here, here to react to episode 9 of Rising of the Shield Heroes Season 2, last episode we left off. It was our first episode with the crew, with Kizuna and Aofumi and the crew, um, out of that infinite labyrinth dimension thing. And it was mostly about Naofumi and the others, basically just, uh, I guess, well, go, them going back to be merchants and trying to figure out how to get to the, uh, what was it, the Dragon Hourglass or whatever. So, yeah, we got to see Naofumi uh, and Raftalia and Rishia getting some Japanese-style clothes, so that was pretty cool to see. And we also saw them <laughs> running this, this like, auction, so... It, which was really, which was pretty entertaining, considering the fact that Fumi used some pretty shady tactics. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that, that, that's pretty much what mostly happened last episode. And then, last episode, where that left off, uh, was the return of Kill. <sighs> the return of Kill. We knew we were going to see him again, but it doesn't make his... It doesn't make his return any less irritating. So, yeah, we got Kyo's return, and um, now Fumi, Rishia, and Kizuna they teleported out out of that dragon, like that hourglass area, with Raftalia basically being left behind. Um, although she kind of she basically volunteered to be left behind on purpose. Um, she volunteered to hold off the guards, I guess. Or distract them so now Fumi and the others can escape and teleport. So yeah, let's see where that goes. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go, guys! Episode 9 of Rising of the Shield Hero, Season 2. Yeah, Raftalia obviously. I'm not Raftalia. Now Fumi obviously pissed that Raftalia got left behind. How? Oh. Who are these dudes? Whoa. Oh, Philo! So she's not an egg. So she already hatched. Or maybe she was never an egg to begin with. Oh, okay. So now she's back to being a chick. Whoa! Now we know Philo's whereabouts. I will say, I definitely wasn't expecting her uh, reintroduction to be so grim. <laughs> like, I expected it to be a little bit more silly, you know? <laughs> or something, like a little bit more lighthearted. Nah, man. <laughs> She was Richard when she was now nah, we're just going straight to suffering when she's reintroduced. That's nice to know. That's nice to know. As if we didn't have enough to deal with considering the fact that Raftalia's whereabouts are now unknown. And Kyo has returned.
Oh. They did not like that. That's ethno belt. <laughs> the boat, what? What is a boat vassal weapon? It's a Piplup! Something. Seems like it. <laughs> Oh boy, is that Fumi gonna get his, get his own Pokemon? <laughs> it's a cute little raccoon. Or oh, Tanuki. <laughs> yeah, just like Raftalia. This is like if Raftalia was realistic. <laughs> Just by sniffing him? What are you, Tanjiro? What? <laughs> G 
Just like Fetoria and the birds, huh? He's an another mystical creature species. Raftalia 2.0. <laughs> Raftalia Jr. It's, oh my god, if I had a fucking dime for every isekai world that, <laughs> that has some imminent war about to start, like, good lord. But if I had a dime for every time an isekai, war, an isekai world had a fucking, like, it was centered around, like, a world, like, a war or something, like, an imminent war, like, good god. It's just not an isekai if there's no mention about a war. <laughs> Philo. Well, I think it's fair to say right now, Philo has it worse than Raftalia. Good God. At least Raftalia, yes, yeah, she was locked in a small cage, but at least she wasn't whipped or put up for display. At least I don't, I don't think she she was, or... I mean, yeah, her slate, the, the guy who sold, who sold her was a scumbag, but, like, I don't think she, he abused her. Maybe he, maybe he did, but we just, ne it was just never mentioned.
Your what? Philo, I guess. I don't know how, but cool. This is gonna be your opportunity to save her. Nice to know that even the audience who uh, was planning on buying slaves, I guess. Well, slave buyers have standards. It's not so these slave buyers have standards. These auction attendees have standards. <laughs> Why? You've only you've been in their shoes. So the seal disguised her as a completely different species? Interesting. Explanation. Ah, just in time. <laughs> right. Oh, what is that?
What was that? Well, that was a little underwhelming, I must say. Oh my god, I'm just, I wouldn't be surprised if they went into more detail about his punishment in the light novels. Good lord, what even was that shield? We never got- what- what is that? Is that just like some random shield that now Fumi just so happens to have that we never seen before? So what- is that like- does that work- shield work like- like- Scarecrow's nerve fear gas or something Where it makes people hallucinate their fears or something If so, that would be a very helpful shield that, he, that now if we could definitely use Like again like multiple times in future battles in future conflicts Understatement of the year. Until y'all decide to get to go into another world, <laughs> then y'all on your own. <laughs> and I have to tell you, I'm, I'm not sorry. Now Fumi, I might have to save you again. Nate-chan. <laughs> Are they already labeled as criminals? Like I said, they're not the real criminals here. The real criminals are the slave owners. Or slave owner, I should say. Wow, police sketches weren't shit back in the day, huh? They really ain't shitting in the isekai world. I guess... Possible he removed the slave press somehow? Oh my god, if <laughs> Bro, what if it turns into some instance where Kyo removed Raptile's slave crest and she ends up becoming Kyo's slave? Oh my god. <laughs> oh that's dreadful to think about. If that actually happens, oh my god. Oh my god, I would absolutely lose it. <laughs> uh, alright. Alright, well overall, a 
aside from rescuing fuel, that was a rather eh episode. Another rather eh episode of Rising of the Shield Hero, which makes sense because this so far has been a rather eh season two. Like I said, I guess it was nice to see them rescue Philo. Um, although I still wish it wasn't about Nafumi. Like, I wish it didn't include Nafumi pulling at some really powerful shield out of nowhere. Like, seriously. Does how many how many shields now does now Fumi have right now? And he only uses like what? A handful? Like only like three? He mainly uses only three. I feel like. Three or four, who knows? Okay, here's what here we get to see Raptalia. Once again captured, once again a slave. Alright, I guess that's all we see of that. Alright, cool. But, uh... Yeah, other than that... Another pretty... Another okay, meh episode of... Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Support on the Patreon. Link in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time.